What's up, YouTubers? I'm just here in the capital of Guatemala. I'm making a short little video. Uh, as you can see, I have my MT4 up. Anyways, this video is about kind of what kind of day I had. I got a few comments on Guatemala not being an attractive place to live, the quality of women not being great. It's kind of interesting. Sometimes people make comments. I'm, I wonder if they actually ha have ever been here. Just as a heads up, there's uh, immigrants from all over the world. Just as an example, today I was in Zone 9, and there's quite a few Koreans. And these Koreans aren't like the Koreans you'll meet in, like, say, Peru, where the Koreans are more middle class. They're immigrating there. Not all of them have a lot of money. So they're more middle class, starting small businesses and things like that. Whereas in uh, Guatemala, the the Koreans here are usually the owners of the maquilas, and they also have other shops and stuff too. They're fairly fluent. You can see them. There's not a lot of them, but there's quite a few. Anyways, I saw quite a few of them. They're very well dressed, very attractive people, very nice. Uh, and one more comment. I saw quite, you're seeing more and more Chinese and Arabs here, or as they call them, Arabes. We have quite a few Syrians here. In fact, I was at walking down the street and right out, hanging outside the McDonald's was I think a lady from Jordan. Jordan. Some of the shops I shop at, I know the, Jor the Jordanian ladies own those shops. And this lady was happened to be in. Um, she was in her scars, but the other lady was dressed pretty Western. So when the Arabes come here, they dress pretty conventionally. Not all of them, but some of them. And then, not to mention all the Gringos and the Europeans. There's quite a few European women here if you're interested in that, but I guess my point is, and also Chinese too, there's all kinds of people. It's, it's kind of like an episode for Star Trek. When you go to the markets, whether you're in the, the capital or whether you're in excuse me, the eastern part of Guatemala or you're up by the lake, you'll see people like Mennonites. You'll see the Mormons. You'll see the Europeans and Americans. Not all of them, but most of them have residency here. Most of them live here. There's a lot of immigration coming into Guatemala. So this isn't like... Your grandfather's Guatemala. This is this is very very different. It's much like Peru, not exactly like Peru, but in the sense that there's a lot of immigration to Guatemala now, a lot from Europe, a lot from the Middle East, and I would say the majority is probably from North America, United States, and Canada, and then probably Europe, then Asia, and then quite a bit from the Arab from the Arab countries. I haven't mentioned all the Asians, but there's lots of Chinese. There's lots of when I say Chinese, I mean there's lots of people from Hong Kong and Taiwan. They're all kind of jumping ship. Chinese in general are jumping ship and heading to heading to Latin America in general. The, recently, I just discovered they changed the residency requirements in Guatemala, so it's not as easy as it used to be. So that's one reason why you got, get a lot here. One reason you get a lot in Peru is it's even easier to get a residency there. And by easier, I mean it's faster to get it. There's more hoops to jump through. Well, now there is in Guatemala, but previously there weren't. But there's more hoops to jump through, but it doesn't take as much time. Anyways, for the people who are worried about the quality of life and, and the women, uh, that's the least of your concerns. The main concern most people are going to have is earning money. And as far as that goes, most people I know earn money online. Not everyone, but most of them. Quite a few people, like in the Star Trek episode I just mentioned, they have businesses like that's in the east of the country where you see a lot of people intermingling and, and mixing it up start, and starting businesses. Although you can find them all over the lake and the capital and up in the indigenous regions and all that. But anyways, my opinion is that the women here are fantastic. Business opportunities here are fantastic. So don't let your prejudices get in the way of, of, of visiting here and, and seeing a, a, new, a new country or new opportunity to live. It's too bad the Guatemalans have bowed under pressure to the U.S. It's making it harder. But this is true of all of Latin America. The U.S. has put pressure on all of Latin America to uh, make it harder for Americans to come in. And now Europeans, apparently they were just going to put this on the Americans. But uh, now they're going to put it on everyone from around the world, from, from first world Asian countries to, to India and China to all of Europe and the United States and Canada and et cetera, et cetera. It's, it's really, really sad. But. Fortunate for me, I got in early, so I got in under the old rules, so it was relatively easy for me. And by that, I mean there's no income. There was at that time no income requirements. Uh, you just had to have a criminal background check, no FBI check. So 
anyways it's kind of sad it's come to that but anyways this is just a short video on Guatemala today how it is today there's very nice areas there's there's dangerous areas and there's middle class areas so this isn't like what the news says so I, I would suggest if, if you're interested come down take a look if you're not that's cool there's there's El Salvador there's Nicaragua there's uh, Honduras and the C4 countries if you like more stability and if you like more uh, more of a kind of high cost of living and then there's South America like Peru I wouldn't suggest Peru I'd suggest Paraguay and uh, yeah to me I'd suggest Paraguay if you want first world and you want the high the high cost of living in Chile you can't beat it Chile is has great infrastructure high cost of living uh, still quite a bit of petty crime but still it's still pretty fantastic so just my comments on comments coming in that people here are not very nice and the women aren't very pretty and uh, there's there's no not a lot of selection there's women from all over the world from the Caribbean I mean from the Caribbean to other parts of Latin America in fact there's a lot of Mexicans moving in I didn't even mention that but there's quite a few Mexicans moving in and there's there's quite a few people from the Caribbean there's quite a few South Americans there's quite a few Europeans Americans Canadians so there's a lot of Im immigration migration I should say there's a lot of migration going on right now so keep that in mind when you are considering a place to live all right leave a comment share the video like and if you want if you like the channel subscribe thank you